All right, g'day YouTubers. How are we today? Was it here? Okay, so today we're going to go over a few things quickly. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for my 100 subscribers. Uh, we do these videos for ourselves because I like writing and I like doing the videos. But it really is nice to be uh, appreciated and you like some comments and subscribes. So, having said that, this is Project Fat Bob. Uh, you would have seen some of my videos. If not, this is a 103 Harley Davidson Fat Bob 2013 model. This is uh, one of the last videos I'll do of this bike, and I'm changing bikes soon. So let's have a look at. With the Harley Davidson, I've been with them 11 years. My first bike, uh, you, you might have heard my previous videos. If not, my first bike was a 2000 and five anniversary fat boy 1550 i did 188,000 on it which is quite a few k's it was a long distance bike uh, really really good reliable did everything right just did the regular services and everything went well with it cams can be an issue sorry the, the timing belt can be an issue with them change it when you're meant to everything's good so a great bike this one here um, when I bought this bike, I felt the 103 uh, Fat Bob would be sufficient enough uh, second hand. It had a stage one kit in it. For me, I wanted to take it to the track and experience a few more um, things with it. So I modified the suspension. You'll see that these are probably the low end of performance parts, suspension. I've put the front heavy duty springs in it, which you can't see. I've put the air cooler on. I think that was a good thing. Change the oil filter to a high volume one. The oil pump. Modified my pegs so I have better ground clearance. Uh, I'll put a front sprocket in here so that it pulls it along at 6% better through each gear. I Means six gear is well and truly a great, it, it makes this bike even better. Um, cams, I put Andrew's Freedom sorry cams I put um, uh, Andrews cams in it um, I found that to be good so it's basically a stage 2 kit which is a mild kit and these freedom pipes dual pipes will reduce a little bit of horsepower but I don't know whether you've seen my videos it sounds awesome the thing about loud pipes is they sound awesome but if you get pulled over your fines can be quite significant and you have gotta modify it fix it up and do all that stuff so that's all to bear in mind. I haven't been pulled over. I haven't had any problems. Um, but it is something that it's going to cost you a bit. Uh, someone said on one of the forums it's a $1,500 fine if you get pulled over for it. Plus you've got to pull it off, detune it, send it into the roadworks, get all that stuff done. It's a bit of a cost. So I'm upgrading my bike now. Um, with 11 years experience roughly, with Harleys, what can I give you? For resale value, probably a stage one kit is your best. Most people do a stage one kit. The stage one kit, the stage one kit uh, is a good upgrade, good horsepower figures. Um, and if I, if for resale value, probably your best because you don't get your money back when you do cams and all these engine upgrades. Um, I would say to add to a stage one kit, I would definitely do the front sprocket upgrade. I've got an Andrews front sprocket on this. The belt should fit. You don't need to do it on Sportsters, but uh, your diner and soft tail, you put a front sprocket in, a 30 tooth instead of a 32. You don't need to change your belt. Um, and it's significant gain. It's a great gain. If you want a little bit more, um, a stage 2 kit is a mild upgrade you still got good reliability you're looking for a, a, a place that has a good reference or good recommendations where I went is Slacks Creek Pro Cycle Donos at Slacks Creek you're looking for a dual um, a dual tune what do they call it a da, 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 da. A custom there it is full custom dual table map so they tune each cylinder individually 
this was a stage uh, one kit that was on the bike previously so I've got uh, let's see now baseline figures baseline maximum power 93.13 maximum torque 108.11 so previously the bike was running 81.85 96.88 see the lines are a bit squiggly the new ones are sweet um, so you can see that there just by changing from a stage 1 to stage 2 kit significant gains don't expect to get your money back with this with the sprocket upgrade this bike did well at the racetrack for a Harley um, the suspension you're going to need to do to go for those faster speeds where coming out of corners you don't get wobbling and all that the new engines that are coming out in these new Harleys it's going to it's going to reduce your costs or sorry it's going to reduce the price you're going to get for your current Harley another reason why I looked at just getting out now so for an example years ago you buy a, a Harley Davidson and you gain money on it that's what my dad did he gained money on his soft tail custom I bought a, a, a Harley Davidson uh, Fat Boy, an anniversary model, 1550, 1550 of them made. My partner actually bought it for me for my birthday. It was near 30,000. It had a lot of nice bits on it. Uh, you can expect to pay for that particular bike now in stock standard condition, 15,000. Half your cost or value of it gone. You can then expect to pay probably 12, 13 by next year, maybe less, I don't know, due to this new engine coming out. It's great to see Harley advancing in their engine technology. It's unfortunate that at a cost that'll come to you with your current model bikes, where you may lose a bit of money. Does it matter? Well, hey, if you love your Harley and you love riding it, however you ride it, how good is it? beautiful bikes this has been a beautiful bike it's taught me how to ride really well have i been happy with it it's not let me down it's been great my previous one has not let me down what a bike what an absolute treat so to my 100 subscribers or 101 i believe from last night thank you very much oh one last thing before I start. You'll see my bikes are always kept clean for resale value. Okay, it's important to have a good clean bike for resale value. I've never had to change my wheel bearings in the 200,000 plus Ks I've done on my two bikes. Why do you think that is? Most Harleys, their bearing, wheel bearings need to be replaced. Uh, you'll hear it time and time again from mechanics. Well, I'll tell you why. When you degrease your bike and you wash it with soap suds and all that shit, it actually takes the grease out of the bearings and leaves moisture in there which causes you your problem. So, a quick and simple way, a car chamois. Here it is. The secret to long life for your bike is a car chamois. Come back from your trips. Car chamois. Simple, easy. Okay, you saw that. That was easy, wasn't it? Before you take your bike out, you get a bit of silicon. Your polish, your favourite car polish, whatever it may be. Stick it on your stick it on your rag. Where are we? On your rag. Spray it on here. Come here. Wipe it over. This rag's already got a bit of polish on it. And as a result. It's just so fucking easy to look after. Alright. If it's been raining and you're riding your bike, I oh ride this is an all weather bike. My other Harley was an all weather bike. Okay. You may need to ride it the next day. Or just run it around the block. Just to make sure that any rain that you've got hasn't set into the wheel bearings. Alright? But when you use degreaser and you use the car soap suds. They clean your bike. They're a degreaser. They take the oil out. You end up with wheel bearing issues. You don't need to. This bike has never had a wash. 
my Harley Davidson Fat Boy never had a wash. I just used my chamois. If I needed to clean it more, I just put the chamois in water. As you can see, it's a well used chamois. Did another one. There's my rag. Fucking piece of piss. You've seen that. Bike's cold. Your final start up on this particular bike. What a great bike. Ah, Jim's cooling fan. On off switch, Jim's cooling fan. There's a, a sensor up there. When the bike gets to 110 at the tappets, it kicks in. It has an override button if you want it. Great investment, okay? Gets hot, great investment. So, stage one kit is probably your best for resale. I'd say the sprocket upgrade with that, uh, with Harleys, you're better off under 30,000 to sell them to get your best money, but you're still going to lose. So you're best off getting a bike you want and riding it to the ground like I did my first bike. All right. <laughs> Thank you again. Appreciate everything you've done, and I look forward to showing you my new bike. Uh, any feedback, love it. Thank <laughs> you.